Well, that's good to know. Wish I had somewhere to go. Ah. could make or break the look at this point and by make or break meaning if I mess up it's over I'm gonna do the other off camera and see how I feel after that so all right we're here and we're stuck I really want to put the white liner but I really don't want to mess it up <laughs> While I figure out what to do with this eye, I'm gonna do my face and maybe I'll feel inspired. So I saw Jackie Ina's video on mass proof makeup and I ordered the spray she used, but I have this one already. And this is for like Broadway shows. And I saw a girl jump in the pool with her makeup on using this. So I figure if I use it the way Jackie Ina used hers, I wonder if it's the same, so. That's what we're gonna do. Just because my skin was so flawless in the last look that I used this, I'm gonna use Estee Lauder Double Wear again. Just, I'm just gonna, oh, put it on like that. I did not cover my scarring. Hold please. Okay, now we're back. So I'm gonna spray the brush with the foundation. <gasps> with the foundation on it. And then go in with it. The only thing I don't like about this Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, it literally smells like paint. Like legit paint. And I use too much. <laughs> but if you want full coverage, this foundation. Full coverage, sweat proof, waterproof. My mom recommended this foundation. Changed my little life. The Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 370. So this look was inspired by the Grinch because the Grinch is a classic. You know it's a classic when it's been remade. Like same storyline, everything. <laughs> and they just remade it. And I don't care how many times you've seen the Grinch, you gonna watch it again. If nothing else, you're gonna watch it again. Little Cindy Lou Who for bronzer, contour, whatever you wanna call it. I'm going in with the black opal stick. I don't know what shade this is.
this. I'm gonna use the Fenty powder. I told you guys in a previous video that I do not have a blush I love, but I was in Ulta the other day where I should not have been. And I picked up this Revlon blush in the shade Very Berry. And I don't hate it. She might be my new fave. She's affordable. Cause if you didn't know, blush is the first thing, oh. Blush is the first thing to leave you leave you leave your face like throughout the day we went a little cool cool so we went a little let me take our bronzer brush It's not as intense on camera, but I went ham with the blush. Oh well. I think this deserves like an icy highlighter. So I'm going with Fenty and Sandcastle. Y'all know I have to highlight the top of, tip of my nose like Rudolph. I'm actually stalling because I really want to put this white liner, but that's going to mess the whole look up if I don't get it right. <laughs> uh. And then the question is, do I do green in the, un like, am I doing green on the bottom lash line? I put my lip on <laughs> y'all it's nothing on my mask take two nothing's on it they did a wipe test I wipe my face. I don't have nothing to say. She's a bad bitch. <laughs> Our face is now mask proof. Thank you, Aunt Jackie. I mean, and I'm over here like I had sprayed that on my face, but after a while it didn't work. It needs to be within the foundation. Wow. Well, that's good to know. Wish I had somewhere to go. Fucking <laughs> chestnut. 
in my next makeup tutorial i will not be using chestnut i promise Then I'm taking Morphe Bite Me. And then Mac Myth. Ooh, Myth is so dry. This is a matte, ain't it? This supposed to be a satin? All right, my lips just dry. Let's lay our edges for fake. here oh let me i wish i had red mascara but i don't so you guys that brings us to the end of my grinch inspired look cut creases are really out of my comfort zone but i'm trying to get into more precise sharp like graphic liner looks um you see i did not do the white liner because that's just not my specialty right now and i didn't want to mess the whole look up i really like this look I love being inspired by something. I feel like I do my best looks when I'm inspired by a particular something. So this was inspired by The Grinch. Um, it's a classic. It's one of my favorite movies. I mean, who doesn't like The Grinch? <laughs> and yeah. Came out fantastic. I'm really shocked because it started out as a fail and I was really going to give up and just do something like neutral, like holiday look. But this is definitely bold, fun, and I'm glad that I pushed through. You guys can see that I did not do the white liner. We were not, no, we weren't going to throw this whole look away. The white liner, y'all saw I was practicing on my hand. The white liner just isn't my thing yet. Yet. It will be. It's just not my thing yet. So we left it how it is. Um, we put red on the bottom. I didn't want to do a red lip. I felt like it was too too much. I do want to do an all red look. Um, that'll be coming soon. But yeah, this look was inspired by The Grinch. That is the end of this video. If you guys are not caught up, watch my past videos that have gone up in 25 days of looks. I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's video. Remember that you deserve all the great and amazing things in life. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Catch up.